Welcome, everyone. Oh, God. Where did all of you come from? I just got in here. <laughs> all right. Time to kill more natives. Yeah, I popped in. They popped in, too. I've got to go get more things done. Yeah, I just came back here. I had to go get some more of my ammunition going on, which I have now. We're going to the old mine cave. I'm sure that won't end poorly. No, I do have a lot of companions. I should be okay. Hello? Anyone home? Yeah, that FCO mod, that like Fallout character overhaul, I wish I took the time to install it. I'll install it in the future because man, the characters look so much better. Even like the default main characters look so much better. They look like people. Which is like generally an issue that Bethesda had back in the day, was just having people look like people. They're like, you know what? Let's get a potato. That's a people, right? Oh, there's some beer in there. How quaint. How working class. <laughs> I guess we're all working class. Some more than others. Hello? I'm just here to get all the dynamite. Because mother of God, there's a lot of it. Oh, grenades too. I suppose that might be like a fairly effective way at uh, handling issues in life. You know what I want to do? Blow things up. I guess in a way that is conclusive. Oh shit. Okay, the generator is clearly a jury rigged relic and isn't running at enough capacity for the terminal. Good for you. I can do it. Here's a hologram terminal. Activate hologram. Oh hey, Kevin. was I in there? Data check. Three days? That can't be right. I was, uh, oh, hold on. We have guests. Gotta get my mojo together. <clears throat> Greetings, warrior of the California tribe. I am the great techno wizard, Dr. Rossman. Ask me your questions so that I may use science to reveal the wonders of the universe to you. Behold, the power of science will... Wait, you're not a tribesman. Who the hell are you? Dr. Rossman. Yes, I am he. Well, his disembodied personality and magic blue smoke anyway. Now I'll ask again. Who are you? Okay, alright. I'm Akira Tanaka. I'm well. I was one of your students of all 18. What is going on? One of my students, huh? Well, this is a hologram emitter, and I am the ghost of Christmas past. Until you come up with a way to prove to me who you are, I'm not going to divulge any of my secrets. This must have been built before we were adopted. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't talk to me like I ain't here. Who taught you your manners? Here, look, Pip Boy, enter this ID 00024601. Oh, one. Well, hot damn. This is a Vault 18, Pip Boy. One of my old ones, if I ain't mistaken. Huh. Well, all right. I'll trust you. What is it that you need, kid? Okay. Where did you get a hologram emitter? Why is it here? Oh, well, <laughs> this is part of an old Wasteland Scout adventure. Something I, the great Dr. Kevin Rossman, cooked up to help the local tribes. None of them understood technology, you see. They needed a water source for their tribe. Just so happened, the emitter was still here. Some guy in the Wasteland named Bragg showed us this vault on the map, so we gave him a place to live back home for the services. Then we decided to help out the tribe. I tell the tribesmen something in a language they understand and fix their clean water supply, if I can. Say, you know anything about this water situation? Bragg never did tell us how he knew about this place. He claimed he was from Idaho. You mean Colonel Bragg? Holy shit, you let him in the vault? Colonel? Oh, hell, man, he's a wastelander. Ain't no Colonel. If we're being honest, he's just dirty. Not sure what he was doing with a water chip. Well, you guys had no clue. You just let him into the vault and that was it. What do you mean? No, man. You didn't make it. Nobody did. I'm one of the only ones left. Processing. Please wait. You mean... I'm dead? Oh, man. I knew this would happen someday. But I always expected I'd be old and gray. 
And the vault? All the scouts? Damn it. I should have been there. I could have done something. Distracted them or... Ah, who am I kidding? I'm just a hologram. I can't even touch myself. <sighs> well, I guess that's it. This is all that's left. Four walls, a broken water line, and a slowly fading hologram. Shit. Don't worry, I got revenge for you, Braggy's dad. Twice, actually. What do you mean, twice? You mean that motherfucker who killed me came back from the dead like some kind of zombie? Something like that. Don't worry, he's definitely dead now. The vault exploded with him in it. You see, that last part is not making me feel any better. Damn. You should have just left me in that hard drive. I was happier. I don't want to know any more details. Not right now, anyway. Go on and tell me why you're here. The FEV plague, or FEV plague. Yeah, plague, plague, words are hard. Uh, Dr. Kilta cured his back. We need your help to cure it again. It's back, huh? And the tribal shut me off, didn't they? That would explain why I was offline so long. Listen, my job here is to keep the water system clean and full of the antivirus. I can't vaccinate dead people, understand? All we can do now is prevent more folks from getting infected, purge the system, and get it flowing again. Okay, right. So how do we do that? Well, now that I'm back online, I can set it up. All you have to do is turn on the water valve and let it flow. All right, I can do that. Good. Just head out there and get it running, and I'll start fixing things. I wanted to Aha. talk to you more. Oh, hey, kid. Whoa. Oh, man, it's great to see you. I thought I'd never run into you again. Hell, I'd say the same, but I just met you. You got a legacy to carry on in the real world. Make sure it counts. So it is a water situation. Anything you can do about that? Sure I can. But you got to get the footwork to get it running again. I'll start pumping the vaccine and antivirals into the stream. Just turn it on. Head back out to the main cavern and switch on the flow valve. I'll get the motors running from here. Okay. I'll see you around. All right. That sounds good. And hey... Tell the tribes they can come and pay me a visit anytime. Playing science guy is about my only occupation. So it's nice to teach the locals about things they've never dreamed of. Stars being far away, the cells in your hands more numerous than grains of sand on a beach. Can you imagine learning that for the first time? Being that I'm dead, it's good to know that the light of knowledge can still shine on the world. Even down here in the dark. Good luck to you, kid. That's wild. Oh well, shit. Let's go do our stuff. Hold on. Let me uh, drop a bit of garbage that I have on me. I have a lot of frags. Oh my god. Check it out. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's his old plasma pistol. I'm going to keep that for old time's sake. Well, I suppose what I'll do... I'll just put it into my bucket. That's what the bucket is for, you know? Gotta always have my bucket. <laughs> Alright, should be over here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Alright. Railway spikes, man. I've got a few of them. Yeah, take all that. Take all that, too. This pistol for now until I really need ammo. Oh, yeah, get rid of that, too. I don't need that, either. Oh, man, I'm all cleaned out. Look at that. Pretty good. I'm not going to worry too much about my weight right now, but that'll do it. I don't need that many frags, do I? I don't think I do. Okay, nothing over here to look at. I'm just trying to check things out. It's pretty cool. Pretty tragic seeing him like that. Well, not really, but... You know. Okay, that was it. That's all I had to do. It wasn't hard. But I did it. Oh, what the hell? The gun's a little bit fucked up, Jen. <laughs> Aha! Back out of the box again. Oh. So why did Voltec build the vaults as experiments? What's the point? Well, from what I was able to find out in Vault 18, the Enclave were in control of the Vault Tech program. There were a few dozen vaults built to work as intended, and hundreds meant to test people under varying bizarre experiments. Vault 69 was built to contain 990 women and just one man. Vault 68, the opposite. 
Vault 10 was stocked with nothing but super fattening hyperfood, and Vault 42 only had lights under 40 watts. As you can imagine, there were countless thousands of people in every vault, each just as weird as the last. But why? Honestly, I can't tell you. My only theory is that some were designed to test long-term space travel. Maybe the Enclave planned to destroy the Earth and use the Gek to build a new one on Mars. But others, I think it was just the product of a twisted mind. Even Vault 18 wasn't free, but we were designed as a control vault, on the surface, until you see all the hundreds of cables spread all over. The real experiment was to test the reaction of a control vault that discovered all the others were psychotic experiments. They wanted to see how we'd react to the knowledge that so many others were part of a sick game and if we would push to self-destruct. But we aborted that early on. I guess it doesn't matter now. Besides you and me, no one will ever know. Ooh, it's fucked up. Okay. See you, man. Pretty cool. I really enjoyed talking to him. Yeah, there's so much that I miss out on by not having the skills to get in here. I had to bring a bunch of jugs, which wasn't even a way to solve the problem. That was kind of a weird way to do it. It'd be cool if you could like get companions to handle skills that you don't have, but then again, you can like bypass a lot more if you had that going on. Fair enough, you know. Fair enough. All right. Let me head out here or in here. The blood pack isn't really important. Too much weight for what it brings to the table, like one HP. There's a lot of these fucking. All right, whatever. It's weird. I'll take it. It's weird though. I know what I am. You don't need to remind me. Oh shit, I wonder if there's like anything crazy in here. What the fuck? I guess the tribals came in here, huh? That's what I'm assuming. There's a toolbox. Scrap electronics, yeah. Right, the extra parts, yeah. A few of you told me about that. I forgot all about that. I always forget about like the parts that I need to have on me. The sledgehammer. I don't need. Oh, hello. Oh my lord. Okay. Well, I've got more explosives than I know what to do with. Largely, Legion Aureus. Is that really meant to be here? I have to wonder. Huh. A whetstone. A combat knife. Submachine gun. Got some. A lot of magazines. Zines, electronics. A lot of them. U.S. Army, 30, uh, 30 handy flamethrower recipes. Very cool. Fixing things. I'll take all that ammo. Dude, I seriously had like no idea that we had so much in here. This is pretty nuts. I'm gonna put away my gun. I don't need it. I think we're pretty much done. I just got a few more things to pick up, but uh, it's a paint gun. Nothing important. A weapon repair kit. I'm sure there's like a thing or two that I might bypass. It's kind of hard for me to see. What's up with you, Jamie? I'll have to like take their guns and give it back to them. They're being a little bit weird with the models. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'll figure it out later. It's not hurting me right now. It's just funny looking. Yeah, I think we're done here, but that was a lot of stuff. Pork and beans too, just some pots. <laughs> All right, let's get out of there now. We did our part. We did our work. I put in the footwork. Now we can get out again. It's been such a good campaign. I've really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see like what other content they add in. And plus we need to play like New Vegas. I never got to finish the actual game itself. So I would love to go play that again. Screw you, pal. That's called revenge. Alright, do I need to go talk to anyone back at the camp? I don't really know. Nah, no, I just need to go back to Silverman. Okay, that's fair enough. Shiabula. I've already been to Shiabula. Oh, we went to the junction, didn't we? You know what? I kind of want to hoof it there. I normally don't do that, but there's like a few things that I want to run into on the way, so. Though there's not too much. I guess we could always come out here later after I go talk to Silverman. I know there's a few additional parts that I want to make or find in my buckets. I'll probably find that for the next part. I'll begin to 
scrounge around. I believe now they're going to prep me for like dagger point if I remember correctly. The cool part is I've got so many companions. I don't really want to hire those mercenaries again. If I do, I just want to make them wait. I would love to keep them around. They would actually make really good companions. It would be nice if like later on the adding companions you could find out here. I think that would be pretty cool too. What's the shit? Oh, it's one of the Shibulas. Yeah, here they are. Hey, what's up, girl? Greetings, traveler. Oh. <laughs> May the forgotten gods look kindly on you. Yes, indeed, friend. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We're going back. Oh, I need to go talk to the doctor. He should actually be fixed now. Oh, right, the doctor. I'm addicted to stem packs. I kind of used a few to fix my limbs. But for now, let's go talk to the good general. Oh yeah, my Protectrons are here, just chilling out. Hey, if things ever got bad in here, I would be able to pull a power move. I'd just be like, fuck you. Take what I want. I wonder if they'll let me actually come in here now. No. No, they will not. Man, fuck y'all. Hello, NCR. I'm NCR too, baby. Hey, General. Well, looks like everything's in order. I was half expecting you to be at this for weeks, if not wind up dead. Glad I was wrong. With water and power sorted out, even temporarily, we can focus on bigger concerns. That stated, there's another mission underway. Captain Jameson is leading a squad of troopers to secure Fort Dagger Point. If you're interested, it's a high-risk mission and they need another set of hands. Payout is 500 bucks on completion. How's it sound? Sounds excellent. What's the catch? <laughs> catch is that it's high risk. The survivalists are likely already on their way and have raiders stationed in the ruins. Old Fort Dagger Point looks like a hell of a hard place to fight. The terrain calls for a person of your finesse. Outside the box combat, so to speak. I'd like to know more about Fort Dagger Point. Well, we don't know much about it, honestly. It's a blind spot in the NCR intelligence. We know that it used to be a military compound. That's about it. We've combed over our pre-war military records and all documents related to Fort Dagger Point are shipping manifests. One way in, those gates. It's all marked classified. But we do know it has a vast store of old weapons technologies. If we can break Fort Dagger Point open, we can win this thing with the Raiders. All we have to do is hold on to it. How do we get in? Right through the front door. We recently acquired an ancient pass key that unlocks the great gates. Talk to Senator Duville in his office. He has the key safely tucked away here in town. What if the Raiders are waiting for us to open the fort? We have plans for that eventuality. You'll be going in first, taking out any and all Raider resistance as you go. After you're at the main gate, we're calling in an NCR Vertibird squad to park in the main area. It's old enclave gear from the war, but it'll do. The Vertibird's support and additional troop numbers will bolster your spearhead and take the fort. Raiders may counterattack, but we'll be ready. What do we do once we're inside? Shopping spree! We're sending a herd of Brahmin along so you can go down the shelves with two arms and gather all the gear you can fit on a cow. Reinforce our position here at Union City with the acquired loot and we'll be the first threat to the Raiders. That'll tip the balance. When NCR forces arrive later this week, We'll be able to launch a full-scale operation to prospect Dagger Point. Till then, this is our big hit. Say no more, I'm on it. Good to hear. Talk to Senator DeVille. Then meet Captain Jameson in the main square. He's leading the caravan across the waste. Oh, right. By the way, this is the money that we owe you for this mission. Up front. We don't know what you're up against, so stock up. Good luck. Well, all right, then. Let me go talk to Senator Deville, Deval, Hoot and Nanny. So, Silverman sent you to ask me for something. What is it? He said there's a mercenary in the Katina with some kind of key to Fort Dagger Point. Ah, uh, yes, her. Another one of the General's grand schemes that cost the NCR a quarter of a million dollars. Anaya Ran is her name. I'd hardly call her a mercenary. She's barely even a bounty hunter. No one knows who she works for. But she did find the key to Fort Dagger Point. 
Several dozen special agents died in that process. Watch your back. What am I paying her with? I was told that she won't be bought. I don't trust people who can't be bought. You never know where their loyalties lie. But Anai wanted information. Something about a pre-war military organization called Project Brazil or something. It probably doesn't even exist. Tell her that Project America went up in smoke. Project Brazil is active. Project China, Denmark, and France are a thousand miles away. Whatever that means. If that fails, I'll give her this check for $1,200. Electro lover, hang on a sec. Anaya Oran, like the online sex chat girl? What? Yeah, yeah, I met her on a computer back in Vault 18. Strange. It was probably an imposter. Don't be so easily fooled. If every pair of kits on the internet were genuine, we'd each have showgirls up to our ears in real life. You can make a computer say anything. I have a feeling Silverman isn't being honest with me about Dagger Point. No, he isn't. He's scheming something, and whatever it is, it can't be good for us. I'm going to give you some very sensitive orders. Coming from a senator, these aren't suggestions. How do you feel about Silverman's command? Well, he's definitely not a traditionalist. Exactly. He's not a picture of the perfect NCR general. He isn't loyal to Congress either. That's why I'm out here in this dusty hellhole. Silverman doesn't follow orders. He asks questions and does things on his own. That's costing me and my family tons of resources. I need someone like you to end this fracas with the Raiders. Then we can get back to profitable business status for the Bishop family. What are you suggesting? Remove Silverman from, from command? Something to that effect, yes. The Raiders have been powerful allies with the gangs of New Reno, including my family. That's part of why this impending battle has been taking so long. Congress is hoping it will all blow over. But Silverman is pushing his weight, using you. When you raid Fort Dagger Point, I want you to return with all the weapons and technology you find and give them over to me. You're not going to kill Silverman in broad daylight, are you? No, you are. And then I'm going to make you incredibly rich. How rich are we talking? I know how persuasive you think you need to be. Trust me, I'm offering more than you could possibly ask for. We're talking millions. Sounds a little suspicious. I don't see you actually giving me millions of cash. No. You have a major role to play here beyond just removing Silverman from my path. There's also the little matter of Els Dragon's Raiders. For the past 80 years, the survivalists have been close trading partners with New Rito. We've each suffered setbacks, but even after we joined the NCR, they remained independent. We ensured their independence with our political power. In return, they act as our off-book account. But after Els Dragon took over with his misfit Cretans, things went to an uneasy place. Now, the Raiders have the Enclave technology. I'm sure you remember them flying over our heads and bombing Main Street. The family has decided that this is a liability. We want Els Dragon removed and a new face on his trade outpost. You, if you'll accept it. You want me to walk into Athens Tech and just take it over? Well, not immediately. The raider known as the Shishi. I'm told you met her at the Euripides power plant. What is your relation with her? She doesn't trust me. Shame. We could have used her. This will be more difficult than I expected. Give me time to ruminate on another solution. You proceed on your mission to Fort Dagger Point. Get me those weapons and be prepared to choose your loyalty when you return. I'll probably do a poll and all of you can pick which side I go for. If I follow the senator or if I go straight up NCR loyalist and stay loyal to the general. You can let me know about that. The only issue with that is that I feel like I'd have to redo the mob pathway anyway because I wasn't able to get her to like me. Um, pardon? <laughs> okay. I was wondering if you were okay. Alright, we're going to head into... She's going to be heading out and killing that guy in a minute. Woo. 
He's getting up. There's a nigh. My little online waifu. Oh god. Alpha. Alpha's a god now. What in tarnation? What the hell is going on here? Put your hands up. Okay. Whatever you say, copper man. Oh, you're that mutant bounty hunter. Your license is in the HQ. Then why are you holding me up? You know why I'm here. You know who that body was. There's a rule against carrying ordnance in this camp, let alone blowing up Main Street. There are channels for this kind of thing. What about this kid? They're packing a small arsenal. What? Vault kid? <sighs> Check our guests here for any more surprises. I am so done with this place. Uh. Well, you're the special agent everyone is talking about. Yeah, girl. You look a little colorful for a standard NCR merc. Who is that guy? Oh, him. A wanted criminal. A convict who escaped justice <laughs> once or twice before. The law called in his marker. I guess we can call this a case closed. Got him. No offense, but you look pretty weird yourself. Anyway, I'm guessing you're not big on following the rules. What's your name? Look, I'm sure we could stand here all day and get a nice tan. But I have a bounty to report in. Can we get this over with? Anaya Ren, hey, you're the computer network girl. Excuse me. On second thought, I shouldn't talk to strangers. Hey, come on, don't be like that. This is a good thing. We know each other. How often does that happen, really? Are you sure you're the real deal and not some NCR hacker police detective out to tear out my heart? I take it that happens often? <laughs> More than you know. Come on over and have a drink with me. I'll wait inside until you're free. What a first meeting, right? <laughs> We're online friends and we met for the first time. It's such like a interesting concept in Fallout. Holy shit. <laughs> the man who is a gun. Hey girl. The other girl. Oh yeah. You get it. Get it, Keisha. Alright, let's go talk to her. Alright. What did you want to talk about? So you're a nine. Nice to finally meet you face to face. You as well. I was worried when I heard the explosion that you were killed. I'm glad that's not the case. You're way more serious in person. You seem so nice online. Well, in person, I don't have to keep up the facade. I'm old, you see. I may not look it, but that's the case. I like to pretend sometimes. Though, after you've looked like you're 18 for 200 years, acting your age gets a little disconcerting. Wait, you're 200 years old? Mm-hmm. The dust give it away. <laughs> My face hasn't changed much. My body is the same as the day the bombs fell. But I'm afraid my mind has grown old despite me. How is it even possible? You're not a ghoul or a super mutant. Or anyway, wait, hold on. So what is a 200 year old doing on an NCR dating site? I have my reasons. The NCR site was set up to catch my target here in Union City. But I also wanted to check up on Vault 18. Check up on it, why? I'm a bounty hunter, you see, and my specialty is mutants. My target here is a special kind of monster that preys on men. I tracked her to a terminal being used on these NCR lines and, by accident, stumbled across an active Vault 18 port. I'm guessing you activated it a few minutes before I caught on, and I decided to act. I met you, and you let me know the vault was still there. Okay. How did you survive the Great War? What was it like? We'll have to let that story go on for another time, sweet cheeks. Now, I know you have other objectives than probing me for age-old answers to life's riddles. How about you and I talk business? Wait, hang on. How did you know about Vault 18 to begin with? I was supposed to be there when the bombs fell. Unfortunately, my father, Senator Scholes, and I never made it. We were in L.A. when the sirens called. We barely got out of the city before the coast was hit. 
When we neared the highway on here, we were caught in a car wreck. The bombs fell, and we headed into the mountains on foot. By the time we reached Vault 18, the doors were closed. I'm sorry. I don't normally talk about this. Jesus, it must have been a hell of a life. Oh, you get me drunk enough, and I'll tell stories all night long. I have a million. But... I'm guessing you have other objectives than picking my brain for the secrets and mysteries of the past. How about you and I talk business? Okay, who's the dark and spiky guy over there, a friend of yours? Oh, this is Jerry. He's my lifelong partner in crime, or crime fighting anyway. Don't let the mask and raider gear fool you. He's a sweetheart. Doesn't say much, does he? He talks, just not unless he has something important to say. Okay, how is that even possible? You're not a ghoul or a super mutant. Some secrets a girl has to keep to herself. Sorry. I'll have to get to know you better before I unleash the truth on you. Okay. So I have this mission is for Dagger Point. You want to tag along for the ride? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'd love to hear about all the stories I missed in Vault 18, but I kind of don't give out the assassination services for free. I'd like to keep our relationship casual, okay? Okay, then I'll see you here when I get back from the mission. I won't be here. I've got one last job to finish before heading back into the sunset. Good luck out there, kid. No. Oh, that really blows the one to have her along. All right, Ray, I'm not going to let you go for that one. I know what happens out there, and I don't want you to deal with it, all right? Hell, I don't even want Jameson to deal with that shit, but I don't think I have, like, the social skills or whatever to get him to listen to me. Oh, yeah, Bert. Hey there, kid. Now, I'm going to go and, like, kind of breeze through that, because we didn't get to finish the last one. Oh, shit. I don't have any of the stats for it. I would need more strength. Damn. Okay, well, I can't even do work for him. Oh, I didn't think that would be like a hindrance for me, but evidently, hey, whatever. All right, so we're going to Dagger Point. That's all good and gravy. Hey, I'm going to sit this one out. No problem. Now, there's a clinic over here. We're going to go over here and uh, cure my addiction. I just wanted to show you the doctor, too. Clinic guard. Clinic guard, where's the... Oh, you're over here? Okay. Hey, Doc. Yeah? I'm addicted, dude. <laughs> Honestly, in this city, it ain't surprising. Cure me. All right, then. Cool. Give me the juice, Doc. Give me the juice. All right. Feeling better. Yes. Now? What is it? I think I'm um, irradiated, Doc. Oh, it's like a standard 500, like no matter what? Oh, shit. All right, give me the other juice, Doc. I'm ready for it. Yes? What is oh, it? Oh, no, that's it? All right. <laughs> there goes all my money. Nah, I'm all patched up now. I think I'm doing all right. I'm feeling okay. I got the gravy. Pardon me, pardon me. All right. Let's have a look at where I'm going. We're going to go talk to Jameson. What other missions do I have, by the way? Nope, just one. Got to go talk to Jameson. Can you believe that crazy demon bitch? God damn. I don't normally swear like a bastard, but shit. The nerve of these frontier freaks blows my damn mind. You still have a bomb in the hub, and your ass goes to jail. I can't wait till we finally pacify this place. All right. Well... Let's go. On foot. The raiders are going to be out in force all along our path. It's better if you fall along behind us. I don't have the luck for it. Ah. Let's hit the road. I normally wouldn't skip, but I've already gone through all that all right, in my jog playthrough, so. Let's look alive. Got a long walk ahead of us. Are they going to walk the whole way again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was told there's like a sandworm or something that pops up, but I just don't want to walk like that. That's way too slow for me, man. I mean, like, I'll hoof it. I'll go. 
but I'm not going to wait for them like that. It's too much for me, baby. Way too much. It would be good training for me to go down that way, though. But yeah, we're just going to fast travel because it's just too much, you know. As I said before, way too much. All right, so we're going to go pick up military training camp. Yeah, that's on the way. Once they get close enough, they should, like, just teleport there, thankfully. That's a good thing. I didn't even realize we were that close to it. Cool. Yeah, there's just like an obscene amount of pathways that I could have gone down. I guess I could have probably done something with the she, but she didn't like me. I forgot what skill I needed or whatever I needed to get her to actually like me, but I didn't build my character like that. If I went down a more warrior route, I think maybe so. I'll have to find out, though. What I need. If I like her, it'd be cool to ally them. I'll have to actually find out the lore. I don't know why. That's like a Japanese clan here. On a Chinese sub? I don't... Yeah, I don't pull out... Oh. oh, you got it. Okay. Okay. You took out the Robo. Robo brain. Or whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. I'm like blanking out right now a lot. Have you ever had that? Too much radiation. <laughs> me I know how to kill all right let's have a look repair robot I don't have the parts I do somewhere just let me go look at what I have I got my trusty bucket around here ah here we go it's around here somewhere there we go all right let me go look at my trusty bucket got a lot of crap in here cooling unit okay Got a lot of scraps, don't get me wrong. That's a good thing, but that isn't what I'm looking for yet. Let me try that unit. Vision battery. Here we go. Only have one, really. Thought I had more than that. Suppose I don't. All right, I'm gonna exit for now. I'll have to go make more later, but for now, there we go. Look at that, I got my own robo brain. That's pretty good. Well, come on then. Okay, Fort Dagger Point. We made it, baby. <laughs> oh, you're quick. Oh, shit. My robot army is uh, going to be good. They all made it here, too. We're going to move in together. I'm going to pick up parts where I'm able to... I need to find a bench, eventually, if I really want to make the good loot. Give me some more robots. All right, let's go chat with them. Oh shit, that was a lot of firepower, not bad. Come on, I'm ready. All right, we made it this far. I think we should be careful through here. These old buildings are falling apart. Who knows what calls the rubble home? We don't have time to scout it out. Let's just make it for the gates and then get inside. Yep, let's go. That's what I'm saying. We don't need to wait. They can come with me right away. We can get to the gates. And I can't wait to hack things, too. That's going to be exciting for me. Just being able to hack whatever I want. They don't even really need me. I wonder if I have to keep up with them the entire time, though. I really hope not, but I probably will. Oh, shit. We can climb up all over here. Not a good idea. Hey, Alpha. Hey, Boop. I wonder if you have anything to say, Ben. What is it? Okay, so Fort Dagger Point, a prison of 10,000 horrors. Indeed. I've heard stories about it for years. No one has ever plumbed its depths, none that have returned anyway. There are stories from the elders saying that it was once opened and absorbed a great evil and now awaits to unleash it upon us again. Others say it's where the souls of the lost are captured, never to be seen again. If the NCR has a way in, well, that would either make us very foolish or incredibly rich. I'm just interested in destroying it. How do we keep these Brahmin together if we hit a firefight? It would be wise if we left them behind at each checkpoint and scouted it. There will likely be raiders dogging us every- Nah. I think we're okay. 
Let me go talk to Jamie real quick. I doubt they have much to say. Mm, yeah. I guess the devs really, really did like Ben. Someone really liked Ben a lot because they gave him a lot of effort. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, these guys don't really have much. I mean, they can travel with you, but they don't really have much to them. I doubt Jen does too. I was hoping that Jen would have more, especially with her hey, dad. I thought she'd be a badass. How are we supposed to search all this for useful supplies? The city of the dead still. Oops. But their graves are left open. Be mindful. We only need the stuff on the inside. Artillery, mini nukes, spare guns, and ammo. It's supposed to be a treasure chest. Then why didn't the inside guards send more brains? This place needs an army to defend against the raiders, not a couple guys. Yeah, well, you know what it is. We never get the truth. Oh, I got that one. Shit. I love that laughing face whenever you get like a crazy crit. It's just mocking. It's so mocking. Hey, Robo Brain. You're super fucked up, but uh, glad you're here, I guess. This ander root. All right, let's go finish up what we can. Yeah, I shot the shit out of that robot. That robot did not make it, man. Pretty sweet. Smash bits. Ooh. Oh, shit. They popped up. Was that Ben? Did you like Ben? No, that was my robot brain. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, Ben, do you have like second powers too? I would be pissed off. <laughs> anyway. It's a shame we can't travel with Anaya Ryan. That would actually be pretty cool. And because of like her age, it would be cool to have her as a character over in New Vegas too. I gotta say. I'll take care of it. You guys kind of blow. <laughs> it's a lot of work for one enclave bot. Yeah, once we get in, I'll be able to like go back to town if I really need to. That'd be really sweet. I'll be able to pick up whatever I need. Are they coming? I hope they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. All right, all right. Get a few more areas to clean out. Yeah, it's just better to get them to come join you. Just a much better idea. Otherwise, you would be here forever like I was before. I still want to like explore more of the bases, but I don't know if there's actually any loot that's worthwhile out there. I doubt it. All the good stuff is, you know, somewhere else, but How you doing, Robo Brain? Oh, I was hoping. Only got one of them, but it, that's a Robo Brain, dude. Kids coming? Okay. Yeah, there's no way that I would walk here. I'm sure there's a few of you who have done it. Maybe you didn't know, but I know. And I'm not doing it. I'm gonna be level 10 soon. Hey, fuck yeah. We're about to go murder some raiders. Yeah, my weapon rate's a lot easier to use, especially because I focus now on just like what I'm good at, which is my laser weaponry. Like that. I'm just here to fucking kill. And learn about things. Hello, I'm a nerd. Haha. -ha. That's what nerds sound like, I guess. I don't know. That's another one gone. We're just popping them. Pop, pop, pop. But if you really cleaned it up, you begin to turn, you know, all this shit into ah, damn it. supplies. Those bodies were the scout Silverman sent last week. Yeah, it was left of the poor bastards. Still think we're alone out here, Captain? There, movement. I see raiders up on the tower. Woo wee, baby. Time to go hunting. Are we going? Go I'm ready for the fight. We'll okay. The I don't know what that means, dude. We're all just gonna fight all of them.
I just fried two of them. That's a pretty good start. Holy shit. And they're handling what's on the right flank, I guess. But uh, let me... Damn! I don't even know if I'm gonna need a new weapon with the shit that I have going on here. Outside of like just repairing it, as long as I'm okay. Yeah, I mean, I would just save a lot of time not looting all of them. I guess we get more rounds from them because I've been killing them so quickly. This shit's, oh my god, yeah, look at that. I don't know if they like added more loot for me to pick up or what, but. That would be nice, it's, I mean, I would much rather be able to get more loot in general when it comes to ammunition than just like three rounds because I mean clearly if the battle went on they would have more than three rounds they usually do yeah we got him battles over <laughs> we going in man yes we're going in Fort dagger point iconic location it feels like we've definitely gotten here faster. I don't think we have, but it kind of feels like it. Or maybe we have. I mean, I do know more now, so I was able to kind of get here a little bit faster, but... And I did have to, like, lug water jugs. That was really nice. Alright, they should be coming through over here, I think, with the Brahmin, right? Yeah. Got some weird lighting going on. Remnants of society. It's funny that we... Oh man, I wonder if these would still work. Artillery pieces would be great. Surprised there's no like raiders over here too. We got them all. Oh shit. It flew off even though I hit it. Oh fuck, what are we shooting at now? With all that firepower, I feel like they can take down most things without me. Unless there's like an area of effect blast, then they're usually in trouble. Which is understandable, they don't have the tenacity to endure blows like that. I mean, I do, they don't, clearly. Clearly so, there's still a few books I need to read too, when I remember about it. When I think about it. Come on guys. Oh, evidently they all knew much more about it than we all thought. Shit. I mean, like, once you get past all the muckety-muck of what they're saying, they're not wrong. Shit's bad. Shit's very bad, in fact. It's a combat helmet. Oh, yeah, those are good for repairing, well, combat helmets. Even, like, the more advanced ones. Okay. Take that. Service rifle, I don't want to use that either. I already know how to get in. We don't need to worry about hacking anything. I just need to wait for them to get down here. Then we can open the door. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't bring the mercenaries. I didn't want to let them die. I would have felt too bad. The combat helmet. There's like a bunch of little bits of loot that you can use to repair what you have if you want to. There's like decent gear out here. Like another combat helmet. Hey man. Alright. Let's see if the key really does the trick. Agent, do it. I'm an oh, agent, baby. Out. Those raiders will send back up that'll be on top of us in a minute. How do you know? Now we can hack. So we're gonna hack. I can hack, man. I'm a hacker man. Encampment. Sounds good to me. Alright, what am I looking at now? Okay, activate. Ooh wee, baby. Ooh wee. Explore the fort. Alright, boys and girls. Let's look alive. We've got a long walk ahead of us. Yeah. 
do, don't we? That's bloody cool. Oh shit. Oh hell yeah. Well, I think the turrets are gonna take care of that for me. <laughs> I have a feeling the turrets are gonna handle a few problems for me. I would love to clear out like all this shit. Oh shit. Okay. That didn't take too long. Like anything over here that I need to worry about, I haven't really been to every little nitty gritty area. There could be like, no, nothing really over here either. Okay, I am going to go into that side room. I wasn't going in there before, but nope, nothing over here. And I do want to take out sentry bots. I mean, I know those are really bad, but unlike before, man, I'm making much better shots. I mean, I do have my gun like modded out, and shit, so it's working out pretty damn well. Gonna trip this place clean of anything that goes boom. Let's search room to room. Room to room. Yeah, I need any cells I'm able to pick up. A drifter's backpack. Very cool looking. There's some cards over here. Any parts? Yep. Scraps. I'll take that. Nope. Nothing in the first aid box, unfortunately. Uh, da, 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 da. It's not like too much. We are going to go over here again. I was hoping there would be more over here, but they like to let me down a little bit. All right, let's fan out and search for way up to the next level. There must be stairs or an elevator in here. I wonder if there was like more. Er supposed to be in here. I hate old buildings like this. It's like a tomb just waiting to collapse. I'm not really worried about robots anymore. There was a time and day, but now I'm just like, eh. Fuck you! I am your god! Your robot god. Yeah, if there's more of them. I better get the spare parts. I better go develop a lot of spare parts. I'm gonna go get a lot of them. I think before the big fight, I'm gonna develop a lot of them. I could actually put them in a few ideal locations, but no, I'm gonna have them follow me. Even though the area of effect explosions are gonna fuck me up. Anything get in your way either. Nope. All right, laser pistol, not really a huge fan. That's for vats, development, or whatever. Medical supplies, do we have anything in here? Let's have a look. Right away, oop, didn't mean to grab all that. That's okay though. Uh, there's not too much in here, no. Get him away, get him away. Alpha, you just scared the shit out of me. I'm gonna be real with you, you're kind of scary. Ugh. Get him away, Jen. Hey, Jen. How you feeling? You all right? Yeah, Ben's like the only one who has lines. I'm telling you, whoever likes Ben really likes Ben. Woo, that was quick. All right, so there wasn't really much in here to actually explore and find out about. I wonder if hacking is gonna let me trivialize anything as we go along. I'll be okay with that. I won't be mad about it. I enjoy having the skills to bypass like certain issues that may crop up. Oh god, the ambient sounds here. I forgot how creepy they were. Yeah, they're really fucking creepy. If we weren't so strong, I guess it, like, it would be a little bit more unsettling like it was originally, but now I'm like, eh. Fucking war god. I do not like the creepy teddy bear, though. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck that. It's just really old. No, if they wanted to pacify it, they would have gotten in. Outside of like getting in here, the rest of it would have been fine. They would have been able to take control of the place and mount their way in. Look they just how chose not to. This collapsed car garage goes. I wish we could get these old trucks going. Wouldn't have to walk back to Union City. Hey, you see that light down there? Looks like the that tunnel leads somewhere. I'm more interested in what that sentry bot is guarding. Orders say there's something down that tunnel. Someone wants to stop it. Yeah, we're coming down here, friend. Yeah, I didn't want to go down there. That's true. Ooh, melted. 
I get to melt whatever I want now. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna melt whatever I want. Poor Jameson. I don't think I have the like the proper skills to save his life or whatever, but we're gonna find out pretty fast. Yeah, that took a minute. Shit. Getting you guys repaired would be potentially a good and bad thing. Bad because, man, the missile of theirs hits my guys. There's going to be some friendly fire damage. A potential drawback of my gun, though, is that I'm able to just melt completely. All right, I know they're around here. Oh, shit. Yep. Good work, buddy. Oh, shit. Whew. Damn. Oh, there's more. Okay. We haven't even... Oh, God. Again. Yeah, that was a lot. Um, my condition went down a little bit, but we did a lot of damage. Yeah, thank you. I know. I won. I did a great job. Thank you. Okay, I might actually try to go back later before we get to, like, the next big part and repair all of them just to have them help me out. I think that would be pretty funny. Alright, that would be for speech. Energy weapons, barter, explosives. I don't really have a lot with that, now. Nor lock picking, really. Or medicine, when I think about it. Alright, let me get a look at what we have down here. Nerd Rage! Strength is raised to 10, you gain plus 15 damage threshold. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> I like that. That's fucking great. Um, Math Wrath. Okay. Here and now. No, we're gonna go get Nerd Rage. Okay. That sounds really good whenever I'm getting fucked. That's a lot of missiles, man. I guess because I beat the hell out of them. Or, again, I think they just added more. That's what it really feels like. Like they added more. Alright. Here's where we can get some nuclear stuff. Oh my god. Don't need the pistol. Just need the rifle. I don't need a power fist. I'll give it to someone though. Someone might be able to use it. I don't need to. I don't take the sniper rifle. Alright, that's for the Brahmin, that's right, a Batman. Your way up to the next level. There must be stairs or an elevator in here. Now the reason why I didn't really want to like make robots, and I still could, but the reason why I didn't is because I know what's coming next and I'm gonna lose a lot of my robots if I do that. But then again, it is a big fight. I mean I would bring them for the big final final fight when we come back here. Oh hi there. I know what that's all about. Agent, I'm gonna need a hand moving all this debris out of the tunnel. You head on out this pathway in the opposite direction, see if you can find a way around this mess. Your team can stay here and help us out. You know it's out there, don't you? <sighs> my orders come from up top, kid. I don't have to explain myself to you. There's no reason I should go on alone. You're shipping me of my advantage for a reason why. Hey, I know you're a smart kid. You'll put the pieces of this puzzle together eventually. You don't need me telling you. Oh, man. Quit trying to fraternize with me, kid. Sure, I'll report Good. back. Just head out the door and poke your head around a little. And come back if you reach the other building. I'll still be here. 
man, even Jameson knew what was going on and he didn't tell me. I didn't realize how much he knew. All right, everyone, we're going to call it here. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and comment down below if you want to see more later. And as always, until then.